or more people are probably getting ready to go camping. No doubt, but you'll also want to be ready for things that might go wrong. Here's Elizabeth Harness with a Live Well 8 report. The kinds of things that we see are um, outdoor type injuries, um, often falls, uh, sunburns, bug bites, and um, Something that's really particular to camping is uh, campfire type engine burns. But Rochester doctors say there are ways to keep your children and yourself safe as camping season approaches. Preparation is really key, so you've got to make sure that you're bringing the right things along. Among the top recommendations, a first aid kit, a flashlight, sunscreen and insect repellent, and warm clothing even in warmer months. A note on sunscreen, there are some brands with DEET insect repellent in them. They are not recommended by pediatricians. Insect repellent should instead be applied separately from sunscreen. Because they really recommend that the insect repellent should just be applied once a day. Uh, you should choose a product that has enough DEET for the number of hours that you expect to be exposed to the insects. One of the worst camping injuries every year, campfires. This little boy was burned just by falling in the ashes of a cooling campfire. Campfires can burn for a much longer time than people realize and you may think that uh, even in the morning after you've had a campfire the evening before that the ashes have cooled but we see uh, a number of children who get burned because they don't realize that the ashes are still hot. Even the, the stones that are around fireplaces can be really hot. Kids don't realize that. Elizabeth Harness, News 8. Our Liberal 8 stories keep your family healthy. To look at them, just go to our website, rochesterhomepage.net, and search Live Well 8.